uh, 18 mega 16 demonstration rod and show you how to write an interrupt program. Uh, this interrupt program will generate a uh, one second time duration interrupt. So when the interrupt was triggered, this uh, 77 LED will increase by one, and the start this will starting from zero and up to 59, but that will be, will go back to zero again. Um, here is the program. So um, the first and second line is uh, very common in your program. So the third line is the interrupt declaration. Number nine is uh, you can refer to the 80 mega menu. Number nine is uh, belongs to timer one overflow uh, interrupt, and um, you have to declare here. And then uh, this encoder header file and six five nine five header file is help you to convert the number to seven segment LED display and also uh, because the 77 LED display was tried by the uh, 595 this IC this IC is um, is a serial in and digital out and LS138 is the multiplexer and these three pins you can uh, use this free uh, input to choose the 8 digit of the 77 LED display and which digit should be turned on and which digit uh, should be um, displayed. So when the interrupt was triggered, um, the program will automatically come to here, and then the display number will start from zero. And every time the interrupt was triggered, will add, will increase by one, and the register will be set again from the initial status. The initial status, status, the high 8 bit is 65. Uh, the low 8 bit is ED. Uh, later, I will explain to you in the following. Um, help uh, is um, very common in your in the program. So um, in here, I, I try to explain why I use 1141 because by my experience, if the loopback time uh, comes uh, from zero to 1141, it is almost one millisecond, and this can help you to um, more easy to control the time delay precisely. So display. So the number uh, will separate in two digits. The first digit will send in the in here send byte. Uh, this command is come from the six five nine five. And uh, when you get the remainder, then you can get the first digit. And the second digit um, is uh, when you use this uh, number divided by ten, then you you get the second digit. It's a very simple program. Uh, these two lines declare the DDLA, the A port, all the pins as the output, and all the output pins uh, is become high. And um, this couple lines is the interrupt declaration. So maybe I will show you um, by another paper here. We enable uh, the TCCR1B, and uh, we will set this uh, to 04. Uh, because the ta the counter will uh, how fast of the counter uh, you need is controlled by these three pins. Uh, right now our our main board the main clock is um, eight mega uh, eight megahertz. So um, now I choose uh, this um, one zero zero is represent. Uh, your counting speed will become 8 mega divided by 256 so that means you need uh, count 31,250 times in one second so this is the, the first line and the second line and the third line is um, belongs to the initial status. Certainly I mentioned this is uh, our, our main clock and uh, this is what I set uh, in the TCCR1B divided by 256. That means uh, every one second the, ta the counter will count 31,250 times. So because this interrupt is an uh, overflow interrupt, so how to make the interrupt overflow uh, that means uh, if the counter count up to 31,251 then should 
uh, enable the overflow. So that means the initial status uh, for the register uh, TC and T1H and TC and T1L. This is a 60 min register. So the maximum of the um, of the of the value is uh, 65,556. That means uh, very easy. Then we we can have the initial status is uh, 34,285. Then when this when this number plus 31,250 and add one more then we'll enable the overflow so this is um, the hexadecimal of the 34,285 so then we get 85 and ED here so here we will set the display number from zero first and then uh, TIMSK is um, we have to select this bit TIMSK is uh, the number 3 bit this is the interrupt trigger TOIE1 and you can refer to the menu so the default of all bits supposed to be 0 then you have to set this one then you you need to put TIMSK or bit two, and uh, you did use this command. Why not we direct use the uh, equal to zero uh, zero four? Um, this kind of method writing the program is uh, help you to avoid uh, affect another bit of um, of port A. So um, this is enable the interrupt, and then every time the interrupt was triggered, will change the display number. So we use a wide one loop here and repeat and repeat and repeat again. So then every time the interrupt was triggered, the display number will, will be changed. Then the display number will also be changed too. So um, let's see um, the actual status here. So I use the AVL Studio and then poke up here. Okay, it's done. So you can see. Okay. So let's wait the, the counter up to 59. See whether this can go back to zero again. Thank you very much.